Somatic Batch is a great automation solution for batch processes, especially because it complies with the ISA S88 batch control standard. This allows for the efficient and intuitive modeling of batch process plants. Batch management applications are typically used in process plants that can make different products or that can be adapted to make new products. They are used where processes are being continuously improved, where they can run on different equipment, and where production data need to be archived and reported. The central concept of the S88 batch control standard is separating the recipe that describes how the product is made from the equipment that is used to make it. The three main models that the standard describes are the process model, which handles the aspects of the chemical and physical changes during production. The physical model, which handles the equipment being used during production, and the procedural model, which handles the recipe structure of the product. The standard essentially describes a method on how to structure batch processes. It defines models and terminology that make the design and operation of batch plants easier and more uniform. S88 is more than just a standard for software, equipment, or procedures. It's a design philosophy. Somatic Batch is fully integrated into PCS7. The plant model is configured directly in the plant view of PCS7, organized into units, equipment modules, and control modules. This engineering builds on the type instance library concept. SFC types enable the efficient engineering of equipment modules with software reusability, especially in plants with unit class based equipment models. SFC visualization is done automatically, allowing the user to see exactly which step is executing in the process. Control strategies, recipe set points, and other parameters can be easily configured in the characteristics section of the SFC type. The interface between the recipe and the controller is the SFC type, which serves as the equipment phase and is controlled by the recipe phase. One or more instances of an SFC type are placed within a unit folder of the plant hierarchy. During recipe creation, the selection of a specific instance is made, for example, several dosing equipment module instances that refer to the same SFC type. After making SFC instances, the OS is compiled which allows for the SFC to be visualized in runtime automatically. The Somatic Batch recipe system is highly capable and intuitive. New master recipes and library objects can be conveniently created, saved, and modified in the recipe editor. The library concept in the batch recipe system enables modular recipe design with software reusability and easy versioning for recipe operations. After a consistency check is performed, master recipes can be released for testing or production. Released recipes can be subsequently revoked for further editing or to block the planning and scheduling of batches. Unit class-based recipe configuration allows for the efficient design of equipment-independent master recipes that are repeatable and reusable. Many formulas for different products can be linked to a single master recipe through the list of recipe header parameters. Unit allocation strategies can be configured on the basis of a preferred unit, the longest out of use, an operator selection, or some other process parameters. The synchronization of units is easily configured in a master recipe using synchronization lines. This aids in visualization during production and enables late binding unit allocation to take place in runtime, freeing up units to be used for the next batch. This optimizes equipment utilization, reduces batch cycle times, and maximizes throughput. Other advanced recipe design techniques can be employed, such as free jumps, command steps, and monitoring areas. These all help to reduce the recipe structure complexity, for example, by removing alternative branching in recipes. The unit parameter recipe object can be used for setting or resetting flags and alarm limits versus programming in an SFC, which can alleviate complex programming in the controller. Batches can be easily planned, monitored, and controlled in the Batch Control Center. 
A large number of orders can be planned in advance, and batches can be assigned to production orders both automatically and manually. Unit allocations can be changed online for fast recovery from a unit failure. Reports and logs are created automatically as the recipe moves through production, and it ensures quality and regulatory compliance by providing trackability and reproducibility. Both batch and continuous data can be collected and stored for reporting. The planning tool for setting the batch order shows a clear presentation of batches in a Gantt chart view, where they can be chained together with optional gap times. In this view, scheduled batches can be shifted to the left or right in order to modify the start times. Route control is easily integrated into equipment modules and recipes. Somatic Route Control extends PCS7 with an efficient navigation system for the plant. It's an application for planning, controlling, monitoring, and diagnosing routes for liquid and solid material transfers. It provides the benefit of simplifying arbitration logic between equipment modules with shared control modules, and it also performs many other functions before and during a material transport, such as device monitoring and exception handling. This is beneficial for CIP and SIP activities. Route control can select the best possible route for optimized production and no risk of contamination or error. Following the batch control standard provides many benefits such as recipe transportability and software reusability. This allows for a high degree of process flexibility that is essential in many batch processes. It also allows for the execution of complex stair recipes in parallel that are synchronized so that several of them can run at the same time and in the same plant. Hierarchical recipe design supports the synchronization of units at specific times during production processes, such as when a material transfer takes place from one unit to another. Batch provides a convenient visualization using unit synchronization lines, which is represented graphically during recipe creation and at runtime for the operator. This leads to more optimized equipment utilization and greater throughput ability. The separation of the product recipe from the plant equipment facilitates the design of equipment-independent hierarchical recipes which allow for the separation of automation tasks. In other words, the recipe builder does not need to know how to program the automation system.